Cesar Estrada Chavez, March 31, 1927 to April 23, 1993, was born in San Luis, Arizona. Chavez was a Mexican-American labor leader who had nonviolent means of fighting for the rights and liberties of migrant farm workers in the southwestern United States. His life as a social activist started in 1952 when he conducted voter registration drives in Hispanic communities and organized campaigns against racial discrimination. Inspired by the peaceful tactics of prominent activists such as MLK, Mahatma Gandhi, and St. Francis of Assisi, Chavez organized strikes and nationwide boycotts to increase wages and improve working conditions for blue-collar farmhands. Due to his nonviolent yet aggressive demeanor, Chavez was jailed many times during his fight. In response to the actions of Chavez, violence was often imposed on workers who were involved. Chavez avidly used hunger strikes as a way to oppose the violent actions taken against his followers. His most famous hunger strike, the 36-day Fast for Life, lasted from July 16th to August 21st, 1988. Smaller representations of Chavez's fast were taken up by several other celebrities. One such strike was in March 1966 when Chavez and the NFWA led California grape pickers on a march from Delano, California to Sacramento to support fair wages and working conditions. The UFW galvanized Americans to boycott table grapes in a campaign that lasted more than five years that gained national attention. Chavez's dedicated work earned him several prominent friends and advocates including Robert Kennedy and Jesse Jackson among others. These public figures helped him through challenges from farm owners and the Teamsters unions. In addition to his activism for humans, Chavez was also an avid believer in animal rights. He participated in veganism, the practice of abstaining from the consumption of animal products. We cannot defend and be kind to animals until we stop exploiting them. In the name of sport, in the name of science, in the name of fashion, and yes, exploiting animals in the name of food. The basis for peace is respecting all creatures. That's the basis for peace. Chavez was also committed, along with the UFW, to restricting immigration. The UFW especially opposed the Bracero program, which arranged for the importation of temporary contract laborers from Mexico to the U.S. This program was a series of laws and diplomatic agreements initiated between FDR and Mexican President Manuel Avila Camacho. Hi, I'm Senor Sesums. I'm uh, talking about Cesar Chavez today. Um, personally, I thought Chavez and his movement was crucially important in the history of uh, Latinos in the United States. His activism for civil rights uh, played a huge part in legitimizing this population that for the longest time had been looked down upon and marginalized, uh, specifically the um, Latino workers and uh, farm workers. They were not given a voice for quite a long time. And, Chavez, through his nonviolent civil rights movement, um, was able to give them more of a voice and give them uh, the respect and the equality that they deserved. The peaceful tactics of Chavez, I thought, were um, the most effective manner he could have gone about it. I mean, you see nonviolent uh, activism, non nonviolent tactics with Martin Luther King and, and uh, Mahatma Gandhi, and that's over time proven to be the most effective and powerful um, means of resistance that we've seen over history. And, and like them, he's had a major impact on the marginalized group that he was fighting for. How do you think Chavez has influenced Latino culture? I think it's been a huge impact. Um, it's helped to bring Hispanics to the forefront and, um, like I said, taking them from a backseat level in society and given them as a, a major population with a voice and with equal rights um, that is taken seriously and that deserves equality as part of the larger population. How can you see the legacy of Chavez living on today? Um, you see it all over. The, the Hispanic population grows year after year and um, that impact of the growing population is dramatic on the, on the country as a whole. And we see advocacy groups for Latinos all over the place, and they've, they've really been able to work hard to establishing, establishing uh, equal representation, equal rights for this minority population in the country. So they've taken Chavez's example and, and really run with it, and um, there's still 
a long way to go with, with working with rights, but they've, they've made some major progress. And it's because of him that that, that sort of progress has been able to be made. Chavez's outlook was that the more workers there were, the less good he could do for each individual, making his impact that much less powerful. Chavez's fire was fueled by his own history as a farm worker in Arizona and California during the Great Depression. Chavez married Helen Fabella in 1948 and eventually had eight children and 31 grandchildren. Amidst his direct activism, Chavez, along with Dolores Huerta, founded the National Farm Workers Association, which is now the United Farm Workers. On April 23, 1993, Chavez died in a rental apartment in San Luis, Arizona of unspecified natural causes. However, it is believed that his hunger strikes contributed to his death. Due to his tremendous work and accomplishments, Chavez was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1994. His children and grandchildren still continue his fight by running the UFW as an accredited modern civil rights group. Chavez is buried at the National Chavez Center at the headquarters of the UFW in unincorporated Kern County, California.